Hey guys, it's Elena, and today I wanted to share a quick process video of how I made this sort of meditative piece in Procreate with my Amazing Alcohol Ink brush set, which is available at the link down below. So I started out in Procreate using a purple, pink, and blue kind of palette, the one that actually comes with my Alcohol Ink stamp set. Um, and I chose my smoky brush and a medium purple color and I just put a little bit on the edges and the harder you press with that brush the lighter it actually gets. So I made a new layer and then I put it below that layer and with my texture inker number three I'm adding a bit more texture in a more of a pink color. So now I've chosen my liquify blender brush and I turned off that smoky layer just so I could see better and I'm going along the edges of this bit of texture here to make them fan out with this liquify blender brush. So then I chose my heavy bleed blender brush and I'm just going to blend a bit more along the edges of where I had started blending outward just to make it fade as much as possible. So doing the same thing on the bottom with the liquify blender brush, blending outward, letting it go randomly as my finger sort of shakes a bit on the pen. I'm not taking care to have a steady hand. And then back to the heavy bleed blender brush again to blend anything that looks like a harsh edge, outward or inward, depending on what you're going for. The idea here is to sort of make the ink look like it has faded outward and dried that way instead of sometimes it dries in harsh edges but that was it's a nice to have a bit of a contrast between the harsh edges and the soft edges I went ahead and erased that purple bit up in the top corner because it felt a bit too harsh so I got my smoky brush again and I've gone back to that purple layer and just added more of a light touch here Now choosing a light blue color and a new layer. Still with the smoky brush, I'm adding a little bit more texture on top of that purple so that it's got some color variation. I went for a color changing number five and I'm actually changing my color palette so that I have a purple and a blue in my primary and secondary colors. So now I can tilt my pen and get some different colors coming out in the same stroke. And I went back to number two to do the other side, color changing number two. So now with the very dark purple again, I've chosen my XL blended stroke and I am making some large strokes right down the middle. And if you go a bit slowly on the edge of another stroke, you can see how it starts to wobble. So now that was a lighter pink and a smaller brush size. And I'm just sort of experimenting with some different strokes along here, different sizes, different colors. Choosing the Heavy Bleed Blender brush again, I'm just blending a little bit more of the pink outward. So now I've chosen my ink pool edger in the dark purple color and I'm adding a dark edge along some of these lines. I decided I didn't like it on that part there so I just erased that. So I'm just continuing to add some lines wherever it feels right. And later on I will almost completely cover these up with metallics but it makes a difference if the area that you add the metallics is slightly darkened like this and edges, little bits of the darkened area shows through. So I'll show you that in just a moment. But this is sort of laying the foundation work for adding metallics over top. Adding a new layer, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing metallics. So this is the metallics color palette that comes with my Amazing Alcoholing brush set. 
chosen a pinkish gold color and I've chosen my foil liner. So I'm adding some lines of foil along where I've just put these dark edges. And I vary the pressure as I go so that it turns out a bit blobby. I'm going over some areas where I've already put my foil lines in and just making parts of it thicker than other parts just to have it fairly random looking. So you can see how it covers up, mostly covers up the dark lines that I made, but not quite all the way. So now I've got my fine glitter brush, which adds sort of a dusting of glitter. And I'm going to, on the dark areas of the piece, I'm going to add this dusting of glitter. And if you lift up your pen and then go again, you can do that as many times as you want, and it does end up thicker when you do that. So I've made it a bit thicker towards where I have my foil lines, and then it sort of thins out the further that you go from that. So still adding this, this glitter dust just everywhere that the pink is basically. So I've added a new layer on top of all of that and I've chosen my metallic ink splatter. And now I'm going along some of these foil lines over top. And because I've added a new layer, it's not blending in with that foil, it's just layering on top of it so it looks a bit more 3D that way. So anytime that you're mixing foils and metallics on top of each other, then that's always a good plan to make a new layer. So that's just a really simple thing that I did just to calm some anxiety that I had the day that I recorded this. And it really helped. So it was more about just calming and playing and having a good time creating something. So I hope this can serve to give you some inspiration. And as always, um, be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you have any questions.